Hi guys, this is Lena. I know how it might be not easy to create uh, sweaters uh, and different types of uh, knitwear in Clo, especially if you don't know a lot about texturing and uh, if you don't know very well um, Photoshop, for instance, to create uh, normal maps and displacement maps. But uh, I was thinking that it's a good chance for me to share with you my knowledge how to create beautiful sweater. Uh, we will also use male t-shirt and draft it as a pattern. So you don't need to create the special uh, sewing pattern for a sweater from scratch. I really hope that my experience will be useful. And uh, feel free to leave me comments uh, if it will be very helpful for you or not and what kind of uh, next videos you would like me to share with you. I hope you will have fun and enjoy this workflow. I already added Thomas avatar to my 3D window. I also downloaded a few pictures of Laura Piana sweater I'm going to use as a reference and for the texturing as well. First thing we need to do is to open garment folder and add male t-shirt to the workspace. No need to make any auto grading because this t-shirt should fit perfect to the added avatar. However, we need to make a few additions. I started with Delatin neckline collar. The next step is to edit the sleeve and arm line. Laura Piana sweater has satin sleeve and our t-shirt has the dropped one. I will use edit style line tool for this. I wouldn't recommend to use move style line tool because it will apply addition to the whole armhole and we need to change only some points. Be careful using this tool if the pattern will be used for manufacturing because this area requires for attention and should be cleared down. However, for our 3D purposes, it works very well. Sometimes it's better to edit 2D pattern as well for the good fit and to check seams. A few additional manipulations with sewing pattern in 2D window helped me to achieve the result I need. The fastest way to add correct length to the pattern is to measure the hand. Basic tape measure avatar tool with shift is very useful for this. After, we should offset pattern outline with the length. I also add some additions to the sleeve to achieve the look of the reference picture. Creating internal lines on the back and front panels and sleeve first, making cuffs and hem with 7 cm. This is how they look on the Laura Piana sweater. Another addition is the neckline. First, we should prepare the area for the collar, make it more rounded, and to add the cutout for zipper. It should be half centimeters each side. Collar is approximately 8 cm, so based on the neckline measurements of front and back neckline, I made a square a bit smaller than the measurements, because collar shouldn't be relaxed. Using tools to superimpose side, we need to add collar to the neckline. Added strengthen. It helps to stand the color for zipper manipulation. Also, added thickness to one for color, hem and cuffs, 
and applied the same fabric called rip for those details. Now it's time to add the zipper. Adding the zipper, it's also important to reduce particle distance and change the texture for metal. I hide the down stopper, but I also change the size and type of slider. During the process, I'm changing the pose of avatar to check how it fits by now. Our sweater also has kiss and weld. To create them, I made two symmetric rectangles. 0.5 by 25 centimeters and superimpose them over. I also changed the fold angle to get them cover and zipper. When the 3D basic pattern it seems to be done, it's time to begin in with the texturing. First, I've added the rib fabric 2x2 two two to color, hem and cuffs from the fabrics folder. Turn down the saturation for this texture and play it with shadow sliders. Also, turn on the normal map, which is easy to do, starting to move slider. 43 seems to be fine. Using added texture 3D tool, I transformed the rib scale, made it more similar to the sweater. I also deleted normal mass from the seams, because the physical product has no seams with cuffs and hem. And this manipulation made sleeves a bit narrow. The most interesting part is the main body texturing. The Laura Piana sweater has cable knit all over the body. I cropped this one from the sweater picture, has been downloaded from the website. I added it to the property editor texture square and open texture editor to replicate cable knit from the picture as accurate as possible. I also cropped width and high to achieve seamless look. I played with blend options and shadow sliders to find the good result. Next, I've changed the scale of our texture. It is possible to do use an edit texture tool from 3D window or simply transform in property editor. To add 3D effect to the need without manipulations with other software, I use tool Normal Map from Claw, which may be applied simply moving along the Normal Map slider in Property Editor. As you can see, it is possible to get the need effect using only Claw 3D tools.
I added under layer for neck color to add more natural look and change texture and color for slider. I created another colorway to demonstrate how it's easy to do, but also how the sweater might look like if we change the color. Made unzip the collar, it has added a bit relaxed look for my sweater. Here we are! Sweater Lara Piana is done with only clothes tools you may do by yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe and enjoy your work with Globe.